Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Chris and I'm a dermatology trainee based in Scotland in the UK. And on this channel, I share my life experience working in the UK as well as my journey towards becoming a consultant dermatologist. In this video, I'm going to talk all about this new entity called Topical Withdrawal Syndrome. This is also known as Red Skin Syndrome or Topical Steroid Addiction. And this happens in patients who are on long-term topical steroid. The reason why I've decided to make this video today is because lately there have been quite a few patients coming to clinic asking about this. In fact, just recently I saw a very young child with moderate eczema whose mom refused for her to get any topical steroid. And the reason she gave was because she felt that her child was having symptoms because of topical steroid and she feared that uh, her child might be addicted to steroid use. Now I think this can be quite a serious issue in the long run, especially when patients declined any topical treatments um, prescribed by healthcare professionals. And this in the long run can lead to physical and emotional distress, long-term complications and strain in the doctor-patient relationship. So what exactly is topical withdrawal syndrome and why is it so hard for us to recognize and diagnose this condition? Well, this is still quite a relatively new term in the dermatology world and can be quite a controversial subject. This term is mainly brought about by patients themselves through campaigns online on social media platforms. In fact, you have various skin support groups such as ITSAN as well as the TSW Red Skin Syndrome uh, group online with uh, quite a number of people following. Now this can be quite a controversial subject because it is not a recognized term by many healthcare professionals and dermatologists. In fact, the main reason why this is so is because there is no specific set uh, criteria for its definition. Many people have also different interpretations of the term topical steroid withdrawal syndrome, which makes the whole topic even more difficult to navigate. So what exactly is topical steroid withdrawal? So topical steroid withdrawal happens if a patient is on long-term topical steroid use, which means they are using um, topical steroids almost on a daily basis for years. And this can sometimes cause the skin to become dependent on them. And so when they stop taking the topical steroid, their skin then flares up, giving rise to red, sore skin, which can look quite similar to their usual eczema. We know for a fact that topical steroids work. And in fact, we have been using topical steroids in dermatology for decades for a variety of inflammatory skin conditions like eczema and psoriasis and so on and so forth. And if used correctly and appropriately, topical steroid withdrawal or topical steroid side effects complications are actually very rare. And from my experience working in dermatology in the UK, I've not yet actually seen a patient with this true steroid withdrawal that everyone is talking about. There are many reasons why patient skin flare up after stopping topical steroids, which I'm going to touch on later on in this video. Topical steroids is our bread and butter in dermatology and we have years of experience using them. And as such, topical steroid withdrawal can be quite a difficult topic to navigate, especially when we know that topical steroids do work and can be life-saving for many patients with inflammatory skin conditions without being absolutely certain on the diagnosis of topical withdrawal syndrome. Now, just a disclaimer, I'm not saying that topical steroid withdrawal isn't real and that we should all ignore what our patients are saying. Patients should have a say in the treatments that they receive um, and they should be validated in their opinions as well. We as healthcare professionals um, should be there to help provide advice and support for our patients by providing them facts backed by scientific research. So, is topical steroid withdrawal syndrome real? Well, the answer to this is that I don't really know. We know for a fact that long-term topical steroids have their side effects and complications. And they include things like thinning of the skin, also known as skin atrophy, easy bruising, as well as um, weight gain and stretch marks. Sometimes, especially with the use of steroid ointments rather than creams or gels, you may get clogging of your hair follicles, also known as folliculitis. 
and in very rare occasions you may lose pigment on the skin um, or even increase hair growth at the sites of application. And there is this condition that all doctors won't want their patients to get and this is also known as Cushing syndrome and this happens when your body no longer produces the steroid hormones that you need just because you have been on long-term mainly oral but can be topical steroid as well. However, there is no robust evidence behind topical steroid withdrawal and as such, it is very difficult to say exactly whether this phenomenon uh, truly exists. And so we will need more research um, backed by clinical trials um, to actually provide the real answer. And so you may ask, why is my skin flaring up every single time I stop using my topical steroid? If this is not topical steroid withdrawal, what can this be? So this can be due to many reasons. So number one, it might be a flare-up of your pre-existing eczema. Sometimes your skin can flare up when you stop applying your topical steroid, especially when you had quite severe eczema to start with, or when you uh, suddenly stop using your topical steroid abruptly without any slow taper. Number two, steroids can also trigger other conditions as well, so it's not just your eczema flaring up. We know for a fact that topical steroids can aggravate or trigger things like rosacea, which can affect your forehead, your nose, your cheeks and chin and they appear as red, angry looking bumps on the skin. Perioral dermatitis can also happen, especially when patients put uh, topical steroids around the lips and mouth area long term and they can look like pimples or acne. We also know that topical steroids can lead to clogging of the hair follicles, causing folliculitis affecting the face and body. So it could be one of these other skin conditions that topical steroids uh, aggravate. Next, some people are allergic or can become allergic to the preservatives or um, other constituents of the steroid creams rather than the steroid itself and this ironically can cause more inflammation. So here's a pro tip. If you feel like your skin is getting worse despite um, multiple causes of topical steroid, sometimes your dermatologist may wish to consider patch testing to rule out any contact allergy. And if you are found to be allergic to certain um, excipients or ingredients making up the steroid creams, then switching to another steroid preparation might just do the trick. Besides this, you may also get this thing called rebound redness or erythema after stopping your topical steroid. And this is also known as red skin syndrome to some uh, people. Theoretically, um, steroids constrict your blood vessels underneath the skin. And so when you stop taking them, these little blood vessels will then dilate causing redness and flushing. Now, this isn't true inflammation. And as such, after a few days, a couple of weeks, the redness should die down. Lastly, you may simply have very bad eczema that is simply not responding to topical treatments. So sometimes um, your eczema can be so bad that no creams, lotions, potions will do the trick. And in this situation, your dermatologist may consider switching your topical treatments to something stronger. And this is what we call systemic treatments. And they include tablet medications, injections uh, in order to suppress your immune system and inflammation to control your eczema. So what alternative treatment options are available? So if you are truly concerned about a true steroid withdrawal syndrome, um, please do not just keep it to yourself. Please speak to your local dermatologist to find out more and discuss other treatment options. In the UK, there are plenty of uh, non-steroid treatment options available for people with eczema. Um, in fact, sometimes if your eczema isn't severe to start with, some people might just get away with simply applying loads and loads of moisturizers on a day-to-day -day basis. We also have things like tacrolimus ointment and pimecrolimus creams, which are non-steroid anti-inflammatory preparations. Salt and bleach baths can be quite good for children with atopic eczema as well because they help reduce inflammation, reduce the risk of secondary bacterial infection and also helps reduce the itch sensation. We also offer other treatments like light therapies, 
oral medications and even injections uh, for patients with moderate to severe eczema who aren't responding to topical treatments. The other thing I want to say is that we as clinicians are here for you, our patients, and the last thing we want is to argue and fight over topical steroid. And so if you are truly worried about using too much topical steroids, please get in touch with your local dermatologist to discuss more in detail. Uh, in fact, the National Eczema Society and the British Association of Dermatologists recently released a joint statement on topical steroid withdrawal, and it's quite an interesting read for those who are interested. And the final thing I want to say is to make sure you don't suffer this alone without any support. The last thing we want is for you to go cold turkey without any topical treatments and without any monitoring. Please know that we are here to um, listen, provide advice and support, even if you choose not to go ahead with our recommendation. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this useful. I certainly enjoyed making this video. Thank you for watching once again. See you next time. Bye-bye.